Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Lizard River Resort Golf Club by Raw Data 57. Uh, it's a course I've just spotted on the game, so I thought I'd have a look at it. So this is a quick review just to show you what it looks like and how it plays. So let's head off to the first tee and take a look. So here's we take our first shot. I think you can always see from your first tee shot what the course is going to be like. And look at that, it's an absolute cracker already. We can see that built on the uh, step theme in the game. Uh, it looks very natural. And our tee shot just manages to stay on the fairway there, heading towards that bunker. So we take our second, and as the ball goes up there, we pans around. We can see that huge body of water in the background. Now, there's a lot of holes where this water comes into play, uh, and it makes for quite a challenge, as we'll see very shortly. We manage to just get our put in there for a birdie on the first hole. So looking at the short par 3 second, uh, we can see here some of the great features. I mean, some lovely bunker work, and again, a little lake there that we've got to go over. The, uh, the tree work and the planting is superb. I mean, the trees look really natural, and I love the way they're sort of spaced out as well. And the way it all blends together with the mountains and that water everywhere. It's just a really, really stunning looking course, this one. Now, the greens are really nice. The default greens are firm with a medium to fast. Uh, quite large, nicely shaped, interesting pin positions. There's plenty of guard bunkers, plenty of rough around the greens. Um, all in all, nice surface to put on, as we say. There's nothing too drastic in terms of slopes. Greens are perfectly fair. So you've always got a chance to, to roll in a decent length put for a par or for a birdie. Right, now this is where this course gets interesting in my opinion. Uh, fairways, we've got some nice narrow fairways here. Now um, they're quite narrow and one side is generally protected with bonkers. The other side, like on this one, rolls out towards water. Um, so it's quite a test. If you're somebody that doesn't use the scout cam, um, yeah, it can prove quite a challenge, but a very nice challenge to have as well. Uh, we can see here, um, we've got the hotel complex there in the background. So the, I think this is the 9th and the 18th comes back towards there. And here's an example, water on the left, just can't do it. Fast shot, splash straight in there. So again, difficult to aim without that scout cam, but I love the challenge of it. Um, here we've got a nice green surrounded by water. Again, we see it's a big green, so uh, not too much of a problem in terms of hitting it. But to get close to that flag can be a little bit difficult. And we've just managed to roll that chip not too far away. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, we can just put that one in. So yeah, it's quite a tight course, this one, in terms of the uh, whole layout. Uh, another example here with the water on the left-hand side. Um, the fairways are very nicely sculpted. They're, they're mainly flat, but they've just got subtle undulations anywhere. There's not too many uh, elevation changes. Right, here's another one of those fairways. So uh, yeah, tight fairway. You can see a bunker just where the drive's going to land on the right. Again, we've hit a, sh a red fast. That's just pulled us straight round into that water yet again. I think three times on this round I went in the water, actually. It's one of those things that uh, makes the course so enjoyable. It's just standing on the tee, knowing you've got water down the side there. Uh, and yeah, just can't help hitting it straight in there. So uh, yeah, all good fun. So we can see again the detail in the planting here for this particular hole. Uh, again, we've got water in play everywhere. Um, but yeah, you can just look from the overheads. You, you know when a course has been really well designed and there's some talent there from the designer. But uh, yeah, this one's really well worth a try. Also some lovely views and line of sight from the tee shots. So generally from wherever you're playing your second shot, you've always got a smashing view. Uh, here we've got a tiered green on this one, but we see those guard bunkers on that right hand side. And now we're approaching the 18th to finish our round off. Again, large green, so you're going to get varied pin positions when you play this over four rounds. So a big thanks to Raw Data 57 for coming up with this one. It's a great looking course, really playable, nice challenge. Finally managed a three over, even we're going in the water three times. So uh, get out there and play this one, Lizard River Resort Golf Club. So thanks very much for watching. Hope that's been of some use and we'll see you again.